Israeli protesters gathered by the thousands to call for new elections and the end of the Netanyahu government, citing failure to free Hamas-held hostages. The prime minister responded by warning that wartime elections would endanger the nation. The U.S. military says it destroyed two unmanned aerial vehicles in Houthi-held areas in Yemen and over the Red Sea Saturday morning. The Houthis have kept up their campaign of attacks despite more than two months of U.S.-led airstrikes. And officials say the U.S. Coast Guard is preparing a temporary alternate channel for commercial vehicles near the fallen Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. Crews have begun removing steel and concrete from the Patapsco River after last week's freighter collision.